Mafia bosses in Japan have a new enemy, the U.S. Treasury. The federal agency has slapped sanctions on Yakuza mob leaders, freezing their U.S. assets and banning them from using its banking system. As CNN's Kyung La reports, it's part of a push to cut organized crime out of the global financial system. He is the godfather of Japan's most powerful mob family. A swaggering, law-scoffing, and always hat-wearing crime syndicate leader. Now 70-year-old Kenichi Shinoda is also a global target. The U.S. Treasury moved to block Shinoda and his deputy, Kiyoshi Takayama, from any U.S. assets and transactions in an effort to freeze them out of the global financial market. The Treasury Department announced the crackdown last summer in an attempt to flush the crime syndicates out of global markets. There is also a dark side to globalization. While the world now seems smaller and commerce and transactions have become freer and faster, transnational criminal organizations have exploited these advancements to expand their operations and influence and to evade justice. The first message is to the Yamaguchi-gumi and to the Yakuza that we will not tolerate your presence in the United States and if you do any financial dealings in our country are, uh, are relating to the United States, we will come after your money and you. Jake Adelstein is an investigative journalist in Japan and the author of Tokyo Vice, a book that traces his 12 years tracking Japan's mob. He points out the two mob leaders operate so openly in Japan, fan magazines and comic books are dedicated to them. Their syndicate, the Yamaguchi Gumi, is Japan's most powerful mob, one Adelstein says has a deep reach into corporate Japan and the stock market, which is why he refers to the Yamaguchi Gumi as Goldman Sachs with guns. The Yakuza set up their own auditing firms. They set up their own investment houses. They are Japan's largest private equity fund. And so when the Japanese stock market is being manipulated by antisocial forces, uh, that's not a fair deal for U.S. investors. Do you think that this move will be effective? As a symbolic gesture, it will have an effect. Uh, but in real time, without the aid of the Japanese government, um, it, it won't have much of an effect at all.